Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to The Witcher 2. So we're currently in these catacombs. Uh, we're looking for the standard, the Dunbanner standard, which is like a flag that they have... Whoa! A flag that... We'll talk about this after. Don't mind if I do. I'll take two. Three on one. I don't even feel bad about it. Oh, that is sick. And then they battle it out, it's even better. I remember the first time I met Grace. It was not a good time. It was a, it was a really intimidating. It was a really a bad time. <laughs> But I survived, barely. I think I almost died there. And that happened. All right, so what am I looking for? Oh. I hope these guys aren't continuing. Okay, so these bodies are glowing. That's, that's a good sign. Oh, great. That's exactly what I came in here for. So maybe we'll find the, the uh, standard inside one of these things. I wonder if we'll find anything else in here. These are pretty old. Oh, more race. That's always good. Oh, hello. What's the fate? That sounds pretty cool. 20 to 26. Ah, it's cool, but it's not as cool as what I got going on. Guess I'll never learn. So this is what searching the catacombs is like, hey? Eh? That's awesome. At least the wraiths aren't, you know, too terribly, uh, demanding. Did I just search and get nothing from him? I think so. Okay, well, that's one room cleared. We have the same situation downstairs. I think that objective is showing me... Uh, the entrance to the catacombs. Yoink. evade pretty well, even if you're, um, like, even if I'm using the strong, or the quick attack style. Oh, great. I hope I have a lot of space, because I'm finding a lot of stuff. Okay. 
Okay, now we've got a wall I can knock down, but I think that those stairs probably take me back to where I came from. So I'm gonna check that first, just to be sure. Oh! That didn't work. The Butcher of Blaviken! Hey oh, I don't know what that means. Maybe I don't know what that means. It doesn't matter. I am what I am. I'm not hiding from it. Okay, so this wall too is a okay, let's check the bottom wall first. Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer oh. of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. <laughs> uh. I guess I. I don't want to fight him. Look at him. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? I don't think that's... Okay, this is where things are coming in here. Um, but those names that he had there, I don't think were right. You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Oh, maybe I'll... Tell I was... me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Uh, this is Cohorn. I know that. Menno Cohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Cohorn, the repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Oh, Oh, I don't know. Is he the guy that they think is dead? No, that's the priest, I think. Your memory has suffered after death. Cohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You are right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Oh, oh. Perhaps the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. Oh, right. Okay. Um... Vandergrift and Seltkirk, I'm pretty sure. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages I did. don't think so. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. Oh. I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Oh, the priest. This is good. Reverend Crest led us out of the fire. He had a magic medallion that protected us from the flames. Many survived? Zivik's platoon. Zivik. The regiment's best corporal. <laughs> you have proven that you oh, served that in the dumb sick. banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the dumb banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. 
Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Oh. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your hunt? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. That is sick. That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Standard in the Sword of Dunbanner. Please be awesome. Oh, it's not as awesome. It does more... It, oh, it doesn't do... Oh, see, it's got the knockdown, which is kind of nice. But we got the other one going, so... That's eh, cool. And it has three upgrade slots compared to two, but... Mm, debatable. Okay, so that is what people were kind of hinting to me at. It's like, you have to know the battle. I'm not going to lie. I rewatched what Zivik said to me, like, six or seven times. To really make it sink in. Because I had a feeling something was going to happen like that. And that was actually really cool. But I, I guess I kind of goofed oops, by accident on, like, the first question he asked. I still got it right, but kind of for the wrong reasons. I thought the names were weird, but it was actually the directions of which we, uh, the, the armies fought from. Okay, that was, I love that kind of stuff. That's really great. Have to remember little details and shit. That's awesome. Okay, now we have this other wall up here that we have to take down see where this takes us, because this is actually blocked on this side. And before we do that, this potion up here. Uh, swallow Pichu's filter. I should probably make some more Tawny Owl. I feel like I have an opportunity to um, ex not really experiment more, but like use different different things like some of them are just extra damage on swords and stuff I do feel that we have like pretty much the best combination going uh, let's see I guess I could make like I could probably end up making more bombs and blade enhancements I don't really use a lot of the blade oils right now when I should especially something like obviously specter oil right so let me make a few of these Okay. Petri, Swallow, Tawny. It would be great if you could save uh, potion combinations and name them. That would be sick. I don't know what I would name this combo. I'll let you guys name it. If you have a name for the, the Petri, Swallow, Tawny concoction, then let me know. Uh, okay, and then we're going to use... Where is it here? Spectre oil. There, let's do this. Now watch, I wanted to fight any. Whoa! Hello. going to be in these catacombs. Wasn't there something about, um, I think I have something about Zivik's beaver hat belong somewhere. And I kind of think it might be here.
Those Essence of Deaths are actually pretty important for my uh, Tawny Owls. Because a lot of the other stuff seems pretty rare. For what I can't remember the uh, category of uh, ingredient that it is, but... Damn. I really probably should be using fire on these guys. second what this one's not like decomposed that's creepy and this one's like a mini this is probably a dwarf It's an epic one. Adrenaline generation on hitting foe. That could actually be pretty good because I'm going to need to gain adrenaline um, very soon once I get to... Let's actually see here. To build up my heliotrope, I'm going to need to build adrenaline. Man, that's quite a bit of ways, but... Uh, right here allows generation of adrenaline through signs as well. So I'm definitely gonna throw that in to one of these I'm gonna do it now too because if I forget or I accidentally do something with this then and what is this one? Oh, that's pretty good, too But this one's epic. So I'm gonna go with this I think you know what, maybe I should save it, because I can't- I don't need adrenaline right now anyways. Because now I'm looking at this one, I'm thinking maybe I should use that. Um, but we'll see what other mutagen slots come available. We'll go from there. Wild Hunt Investigator's Notes. Oh yeah. Notes of a hunt researcher. I spent all of my life researching the wild hunt, and without false modesty, I can say I read everything that exists on the subject. Furthermore, I saw the wraith gallopade with my own three eyes. Oh, <laughs> with my own eyes three times. I managed to perform quick measurements on the second and third sighting, and acutely examined the observational material in detail. Based on my knowledge and experience, I came to a crushing conclusion. I'm certain that there is a terrifying alien force behind the hunt. A mind completely mad, yet still a mind, not pure chaos. I firmly note that the Wraith Raiders are someone's or some things emissaries, and their deeds are governed by a plan. Really cool. Oh, yeah, okay, this is where we came through.
Wraith Trophy. Okay. I don't think I actually had time to pick it up. Or did I? Yeah, I did. Damage plus six. I don't know, that Karen trophy is still pretty good. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna find one that's like better than that. See, my medallion's glowing out here and that Oh, that could be why. All right, I think we've actually checked out all of this. Definitely looks like it. So we're gonna head out. Just in time for my wraith oil to wear off, so... Works out rather nicely. Now, I'm thinking this might be a good opportunity to go and deliver these 60 harpy feathers, which I don't know, you guys. I don't know what you're doing to me. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing it. I would have done it anyways, but everyone's really wants to see it. we've got this area covered um, because we went up top we found like some little pearl thing which probably doesn't have any relevance we went all the way around and we came from across here basically Yeah, so when we originally came in here, we came through here, and then this is where we crossed. We went all the way around and came back. Oh, that's that comet with the tail. It's part of the curse, actually, I believe. tunnel that they made, is this just something they dig out to go through mountains? I guess so. Although, using, like, wood to hold up stone, I don't know if that was the smartest thing, but I guess what else would you do? Obviously, has worked so far. You know what? I'm gonna actually grab these swords now. And, uh, walk them down to our friend there and sell them. A couple other things we can sell to her as well. I have to say that the music in this area, <laughs> this dwarven music, I guess, is the best. So while we're in here right now, I'm just gonna let you listen to it.
Well, this is bad. I don't know where she went. Maybe it's too late at night or something? Oh yeah, it's late. Okay, let me get rid of some of this junk I picked up. All of this can go. Axe. The fate sword, I'm gonna let it go. I think with the up, no, that's not even the one. The sword of the Dun Banner. Um, it's got the knockdown, which is, I guess it's nice. It's got the three upgrade slots as well, but I don't know. I like the one that we're currently using and all of the critical effects it's causing, so I'm going to let that go. And then I'll probably get rid of some crafting stuff here. Harpy claws? I didn't know they were that heavy. Is there anything else that's heavier? Not really. What what needs to happen is I need to actually get to I need to get to my chest. Witcher, finish your dealings, friend, before they turn into real problems. Okay. So let's head back to the Harpy Feather Collector. <laughs> And, uh, see what he has to say. I think maybe this way is better. Oh, no. Never mind. I kind of don't want to get into the habit of rolling everywhere because it's probably, uh, from, from a viewer's perspective, it's probably annoying to watch, but... It definitely um, does speed things up a bit, for sure. Now, how do I get down there again? I guess the, the rolling habit is kind of from, uh, a lot of it's from the arena mode that I play once in a while. Okay. God, I'm almost, don't want to do this. More harpy feathers, just like you wanted. Good work! Why, it's even a pleasure to pay you! I gotta admit, that might have been the strangest job I've ever had. Well, it's hardly done. What? I'll hear you out, but I've got a bad feeling about this. I need a few more feathers. No. Who is it that needs them? You or this collector? But he does, of course. Pretty suspicious. Why didn't you tell me how many I was supposed to bring right off? I... I needed to see the quality. <laughs> Just a few feathers uh, more. What? I'll pay extra. Decide. Let me think about it. Eight harpy feathers now. What is going on here? Hold on. Okay, how many do I have? I have 14. Let's let's see what's going on here. I suppose you must be wondering if, while keenly pursuing the Kingslayers, Geralt took on any errands of the king he was... won't? Want to complete? I don't know. I have in mind such pursuits as the extermination of monster colonies and the collection of rewards for impressive trophies cut from the corpses of slain beasts. I delve deep into my memory in search of something that might answer this question, and lo and behold... 
Recalled an adventure in this very vein. Our hero is retained by an individual named Elfin. Or Elton? Who lived in a hut by the quarry near Vergen. Elton was willing to pay good coin for harpy feathers, which he was purportedly amassing for a certain collector. In exchange for a pouch full of orange, Geralt was to bring Elton 12 impressive plumes. The mysterious collector's appetite for harpy feathers seemed insatiable. Elton made the witcher another offer, a generous sum in exchange for nothing short of a copious amount of plumes. Though he accepted, Geralt wondered if it was all worth it. 60 feathers was a tall order, even for a witcher. For someone whose fetish for feathers rivals the desire which he... Which he, cats, exhibit for she, cats. Oh, <laughs> the desire which he, cats, exhibit for she, cats, in heat, even a pile could prove insufficient. The collector apparently wanted another eight plumes. The witcher had some, for some time, sent something fishy in the matter, and now completely sure it was putrid in some way. Nevertheless, coin did not stink, so our hero seriously considered applying another eight harpy feathers. Uh, okay. I've got some more feathers. Sleek and untattered. I hope that'll do it. I look at them and select the finest. There's your payment, <laughs> with a small bonus. What am I supposed to do with the ones I have left? Whatever you wish. I've no need for them. What? Farewell. Visit Elton later. Where are you headed? I don't have a clue what's going on. As it turned out, eight was the magic number. The Witcher had never before seen anyone <laughs> get so excited about a sack full of down. In fact, Elton seemed moved when he received the last batch, a reaction far too strong for an ordinary purchasing agent. Curious to get to the heart of the matter, Girl decided he would visit Elton again later. And how much money did he give me? Uh, I guess it was a fair chunk, because... Well, it must have been. Okay, well... I guess we'll go do some other things and then come back and talk to Elton later. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what we should do next. There's a couple of things here. Um, we've got meeting Zoltan. Lifting the curse from Henselt. Not much we can do there because we still need all the other stuff. Conspiracy theory. All of that kind of ties in. So I think, actually, if I'm not mistaken, the only thing I can go and do right now is meet Zoltan in the tunnels. Beneath Fergan. And then after that, maybe come back and see and see Elton. I don't know what the hell you guys have me in for there, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you then. Okay, thanks, bye.